Hey everyone, welcome to Slay Art Refinishings. My name is Garrett, and if you're ready for an amazing transformation on this old, dirty, dingy dresser, then hit that like button, grab yourself some popcorn, because this is going to be a fun video. So I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace back on February 1st of this year, and I went and picked it up for $20. I had some big dreams for it because this old dresser was in such bad shape and oh so desperately needed that new lease on life. So I started out by sanding the dresser with 150 grit sandpaper with my Milwaukee sander, working my way up to a 180 grit and then a 320 grit finish. Now when I tell you this dresser had so many layers of paint on it, it did take me quite a bit of time to get all the paint off of it. I wanted to strip it down and make it fresh and start from the bare bone. So using that 150 grit sandpaper to strip all of the paint off of it really did the job. Since I did this project when it was winter time here in Michigan, you know, snowing out, freezing cold, all that nasty stuff, I did my sanding out in the garage and then after I was finished, few days had passed and I brought the dresser down to the basement and thoroughly cleaned it. I made sure to remove all of the dust, all the dirt, all the grime, all that nasty stuff off the dresser so then I can begin to prime the whole piece. So the primer that I'm using I got from Walmart for about $18 for this gallon of Kills All Purpose Primer. I ended up applying three coats of this stuff just because of how bad this dresser was in terms of the overall condition of it. it wasn't in the greatest of shape being particle board some of the parts were fuzzy feeling here and there on the dresser and because this primer is so thick it'll cover up a lot of imperfections here is my second coat of primer I really enjoy using this stuff. It goes on the pieces so nicely, nice and thick, so it covers up a lot of imperfections, like I said, and it only has a one hour dry time, so that's pretty dang good. So after this dries, I'm going to get to the painting, and for the paint, I chose this dark purple color that I picked up at Home Depot. Now, if you're not familiar, Home Depot and Lowe's both have a quote unquote mess up paint section they'll mix up the wrong color of paint and then the customer will decide not to purchase that paint and go with something else so they heavily discount these paints and it is awesome the home depot and lowe's mess up paint prices are amazing you can pick up a pint of paint for 50 cents or a quart of paint for two to two dollars and fifty cents and a gallon for eight dollars the prices are phenomenal so about halfway through my painting journey i decided to go off the path a little bit go off the plan and i decided to switch up the placement of the handles for the two lower drawers so i took my wood filler that i had left over from past projects and filled in those existing holes and got to my second coat of paint on the whole dresser after applying three coats of paint onto the dresser, it was finally time to apply some top coat. I went off of the path most taken, I guess you could say, and I decided to try something out. Now, the Beyond Paint brand, if you've never heard of it, they're pretty popular for their primer, paint, and sealer all mixed into one. And this is a paint that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or online. And they also sell a clear top coat application that adheres to their paint. I wanted to see if it would adhere to other types of paint. So I tried it out and I was stunned that the top coat from Beyond Paint goes on so beautifully. It makes the dresser shine. It gives that added protection and confidence that this piece is going to last. Apologize for this part in the video. I can't remember exactly what my specific measurements were for the new holes for the old hardware. Here is some video footage of me measuring out that one hole right here. And I repeated this process for both of the two lower drawers. When it came to the hardware, I decided to reuse the old hardware that came on the dresser. I prepped out and sanded the old hardware with 180 grit sandpaper. And I used this matte black spray paint that I got from Ace Hardware. I've had this for a while and used it on other projects. And I really liked how it turned out in the past. 
So after the hardware dried and a couple days had passed, I installed it on the dresser, got my cat in the basement with me, and took some pictures. We had a little photo shoot. Let me know what you think of this little photo shoot and all the photos down below. I also wanted to include this in the video real quick. I did consider putting on some new handles, but I thought the old hardware would do with a little bit of some new color on them. Anyways, here are the pictures. I listened to it on Facebook Marketplace for $130 to start out at on March 26th of 2023. And over a month later on May 6th, 2023, I sold the dresser for $40. I bought it for $20. I put $2.50 into it. And I used a few other materials I had from past projects. Let me know what you think down below about the dresser, if you like it, if you don't like it. If you have any tips, let's hear it. When I first listed this dresser on Facebook Marketplace for $130, I had some pretty high hopes of it selling for $130. I thought I did a really, really great job. The color looked good. The black handles looked good. It had a nice top coat. It was shiny. It was durable. I thought I was going to get $130 for it. But man, was I wrong. I had it listed at 130 for about two weeks and then dropped it to 100 Then another two weeks later, I just started dropping it by 20 And eventually, I listed it for $40. And then all of this past week, I had probably eight inquiries. So I could kind of tell that the time was coming to an end with the dresser and that someone was going to take it home this week. And I ended up selling it yesterday for $40. Not the $130 I was hoping for, but hey, I'll take it. And today, I ended up selling a blue wood desk that I redid around the same time frame. So two pieces of furniture sold this weekend. I'll take it. That's awesome. I think for the main reason why it took so long to sell was, number one, I priced it too high. Number two, the size of this dresser, it was in between the size of a normal dresser, but it wasn't that small where it could be considered potentially a nightstand or end table. It was kind of in the middle, so you could either use it as a dresser or a nightstand or put it, you know, at the end of a couch maybe as an end table. I talked about that in my listing description, which I'll show right here. Let me know what you think about this dresser. If you have any thoughts, any comments, any suggestions, again, drop them down below. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Make sure you subscribe for a new Sunday. Ah, the camera died. Make sure you subscribe for a new video, a new project video every Sunday at 7 p.m. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day.